your settings for, for example, every subtype or certain subtypes, right? VLC also has support for it since some months. Um, as you can see here, um, this is a dev stream which contains subtitles and uh, it has a German stream and in, German, in Germany you have to know um, the subtitles use colors for speed identification and so this is a crucial feature that the German market needs. So this is one of the reasons why uh, we have to use TTML to keep that uh, coloring here in the subtitles. There are different ways of transfer that can be used with CTML subtitles. Of course, you can have just a single standalone XML document. Um, the VLC requires you to use a .ctml extension, but uh, the standard doesn't uh, have a mandatory extension here, so in theory, uh, feel free to use any extension like for XML. <laughs> On the other hand, um, it can be used in streaming. Um, for streaming, it has to be segmented in documents for of like say five seconds duration of each document. These are all standalone documents that are transmitted one after each other with a um, particular subtitles that are contained that um, amount of time. Um, in that case, it's usually um, used with a ESO BMF container, uh, yeah, also known as MP4. And you can use it together with MPEG dash streaming and together with HLS streaming. So Apple has also support for it since some time. And um, with a CMF profile, which is a special format that doesn't use the MPEG TS as a container format, but, but also uh, rather as a BMFF. And of course, for the classic uh, transmission ways uh, for broadcasting, there are also standards available in some time. DVB has a standard published to transmit also such segmented subtitles <coughs> and also APS3 features, uh, IMSC. Yeah, and finally, some links for you if you want to know more about this. Uh, the two working groups that work on the standards in W3D and DVB. <coughs> then IMSC.js, that is a renderer that is quite um, yeah, quite a renderer made by uh, one person to uh, the rendering of the subtitles. And finally, there are uh, two websites from IRD with regarding test streams in dash format and similar format. There is always a loop live stream without any geo blocking and all of the subtitles, so you don't always uh, check this with VLC, for example. Yes, so that is all, and thank you for your attention.